Hello everyone, welcome back. Spring is just here and I thought this would be a great time to show some DIYs for eliminating odors and freshening up areas around the house naturally to get in mood for the new season. If you do enjoy today's video and want to show your support, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. We are going to get started with DIY essential oil sachets that are so versatile and you can use them in places like drawers or anywhere you'd like a fresh scent. You are just going to need some white rice, dried lavender or any other fragrant herb of your choice. It can be bought in bulk online or in smaller quantities at your local natural food store essential oil and then some drawstring bags or sachets and these are easily available at Amazon, any hobby craft store and dollar store as well. I got these ones from dollar store in the baby shower decoration section. Now first we'll make scented rice. Now I took half a cup white rice and added 10 to 12 drops each of lavender and orange essential oil and gave it a good mix. Now rice absorbs essential oils and white rice has the outer hull removed so it will absorb more scent than brown. Next add in half a cup dried lavender and give it a good stir. And then measure out even portions and transfer into little bags. It's just as easy as that. Now make sure to close tightly to use it around the house. Now lavender is calming while citrus oils like orange is uplifting and I thought this scent would be perfect for spring but you can totally customize it to your liking to refresh. Simply open the bag and add a few drops of essential oil and gently massage to disperse the oils. Again, please make sure to close it tightly. Every spring when I am packing away my winter clothing, I make my own moth repellent bags as I don't like the way mothballs smell and the fact that they are so bad for health and environment because they are loaded with chemicals. I've included some links below in case you may want to read up on that. Now to make your own moth bags, you're just going to need some cloves, bay leaves, peppercorns or whole pepper and couple cinnamon sticks. In an empty bowl, combine equal proportions of black peppercorns cloves, crushed bay leaves and cinnamon sticks, and dried lavender which is completely optional and then measure out even portions and transfer into little bags or you can tie them in a muslin cloth as well but make sure to close tightly. Now a slight variation and hack to this is in case you don't want any spicy scent in your closet would be to add 10 to 12 drops of your favorite essential oil to a cotton ball and tuck it into these bags for a nice fragrant moth scent <laughs> and you can um, use them how you would typically use mothballs. The next DIY is a natural odor absorbent and the most popular one in this category is baking soda. You can freshen up with your room with this quick and simple lavender baking soda air freshener. Things that you're going to need is one small mason jar. Now you can either poke holes in the lid or get these decorative lids from Michaels or Amazon. Into this mason jar I added half a cup baking soda and 10 to 12 drops of lavender essential oil and you can add more essential oil as well it just depends upon how scented you want this one to be. Combine and stir well, pop the lid on and your odor absorber is ready. Now because I already had dried lavender on hand, I tried a variation and added some dried lavender and decorated it with some coffee beans or small stones to use it as a decorative odor absorber around the house. And it came out great. 
Second super cheap hack would be to use salt and pepper shakers from the dollar store and you can use it in your closet or areas around the house that are outside the reach of your kids. If you use it in the kitchen, make sure to label it to avoid accidental confusion with salt. The final DIY is a natural spray that you can use to freshen up linens, curtains and or as a room freshener spray. We are just going to need your choice of essential oils, some Epsom salt or witch hazel, glass spray bottle. Now glass is the best material to prevent any other materials leaching into the oils. Now to make the spray, first put in the salt, just about 1 teaspoon or so and add 10 to 20 drops of your favorite scent of essential oil. Let sit for a minute or two. Salt helps emulsify the oils through water. Now finally add water and shake it well and you can use it to freshen up bed linens, curtains, couch and other areas around the house. The best part about making your own fresheners and odor absorbents is that they don't smell fake like commercial ones do and it's so cheap to mix them up and you can play around with scents and find what you like. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.